bacteria and viruses are on nearly everything you touch. But those things may not be as dirty as you think. Let's start at your house. Can you guess the dirtiest room? Hint, it's not here. It's here. The germiest area in the home is the kitchen, and the cleanest area in the home is usually the, the bathroom. The cutting board has about 200 times more fecal bacteria than a toilet seat. It's actually safer to make a sandwich on a toilet seat in the average home than a cutting board because people clean the toilet seat routinely. The fecal material in your kitchen come from raw vegetable and raw meat products. And the only way to properly sanitize everything from your cutting board to your sponge is to put it all in the dishwasher. The other place you may not clean enough? The bottom of the refrigerator, because everything falls down to the bottom of the refrigerator. So that's, if you ever notice, you get mold and that. But the germiest spot you probably don't think to clean. The uh, refrigerator door handle, because everybody's opening that all the time. And so it tends to get really germy. But just because the kitchen is worse, doesn't mean you should skip the bathroom cleaning, especially when it comes to your towels face towels, about 5% uh, contain salmonella after a while, E. coli within about two or three days because they stay wet, they stay moist, the bacteria survive well. Dr. Gerba says changing your towels every couple of days and using separate towels for your hands and your face will help keep you healthier. If you dry your face with a, a hand towel in, in the bathroom, you're going to get more E. coli on your face than if you stuck your head in the toilet and flushed it, actually. And if you're going out in public to a place where you know you won't be able to wash your hands, it's important to bring along some hand sanitizer, especially if you're going to places like the grocery store. Carts and reusable shopping bags get pretty germy, and so do restaurants. They wipe the tables and that, and they're supposed to put those in disinfectants and that, but I don't think the right level gets it, and they end up usually putting E. coli in the front of the table. And you're not even safe from germs escaping reality at the movies. When you put your hand down like that, you create a cloud of bacteria. It's just like blowing it into the wind almost that's been there. And bacteria and viruses, we find, uh, will survive for quite some time. Some viruses will survive for a week or more. But the germiest place you'll spend the most time in? Your office. This would be the worst thing right here. Places like your keyboard, desk, and office phone harbor thousands of bacteria. And most people talk dirty and don't realize. We used to think, well, it's only your germs, right? But we've learned with your phones and your hands, you'll touch here on a surface, on a, on a table, and you go to office and you'll touch all your stuff and contaminate it. And if your coworker is sick, it's not rude to avoid them. If a person comes into an office with a cold and touching surfaces, he'll spread that virus to about 50% of the people within four hours. So how do you protect yourself and your family from the germs that are everywhere? Don't shake hands with people who obviously have the cold. Bring hand sanitizers with you and use disinfectant wipes on your desk. You'll reduce your risk of getting a cold in half or more. Dr. Germ says it's just that easy. So pull out your disinfectant spray and keep the germs away. Alexa Liaco, KGOT 9, on your side.